Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're doing a little something different. We're doing kind of a mom and dad talk video. Today we're gonna be talking about Santa Claus. If your kids are watching, maybe they don't wanna watch, possibly. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, give you a few seconds, pause the video, watch this without your kids, probably. <laughs> So we had this really good conversation in the car last night. Do we or do we not want Magnolia to believe in Santa Claus? And we had a really good conversation about that. So we just want to talk to you guys about that and get your opinion. Please leave your thoughts and comments below. Nicely. <laughs> Nicely. Yeah. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. What are your thoughts, Kaylin, about Santa Claus? So my initial thoughts, and this is why I brought it up last night, in the car is I said, I don't want to do Santa Claus. And we've been married going on seven years and never talked about this. I think we, I think we talked about it, but I think you changed your mind on it. So <laughs> anyway, I was like, but we got to do Santa Claus. Like it's so much fun. Why would you not want to do Santa Claus? Well, one, I don't want to do Santa Claus because that's not what Christmas is about. Yeah. Like, as Christians, Christmas is the celebration of Jesus' birth. Yeah. So that's not even what Christmas is. Christmas okay. is not Santa Claus. And then also, it's just kind of like, I don't like the idea of, oh, you've been good this year, so you get gifts, or you're on the good list. And yeah. then, oh, if you're bad, you're, you're not going to get any gifts from Santa, or you're going to get coal, you'll be on the bad list. Like, oh, are you on the good list or the bad list? And then what do you do when like her friends one year, like, I don't know, there's some frozen out, like some type of frozen character out that everyone has to have. And we couldn't make it to the store to get it, but her friends got it from Santa. Was she better? Like was her friends better yeah. than her? You yeah. know? So I understand that. I get that point. And I also am not really sure to think about what I think about Elf on the Shelf, the whole the elf is watching you know, he's here to watch you, and if you do bad things, he's going to tell Santa. Yeah. I mean, I could maybe do Elf on the Shelf if it's just like, hey, he's just here hanging out. Like, he's just, um, I don't know. What could so be is the that reason the point? why he's there? Is that the point of Elf on the Shelf? Yeah. Like, he's here to watch you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I And didn't he know reports that. back to Santa. Oh, he reports. Yeah. I mean, I think in general, just a blanket statement of like, I mean, I understand when it comes to like taking away, like taking away privileges when they do bad things. Like I understand that, but to kind of say, and the same thing with Santa, to say like, oh, Santa's watching you, you better be good. Elf is watching you, you better be good. Jesus is watching you, you better be good. I think all of that is not like, we wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think Elf on the Shelf is fun. I just gotta think of a way, like, why is he here other than to report back to Santa? Yeah. Like, I, th I do think that the idea is kind of fun, like, oh, let's go find the elf. Like, where is he today? Yeah. But you gotta th think of, like, why is he there? But does your elf have to do, like, mischief things? Like, no. does he have to get into mischief? No, maybe he can help decorate the tree. Oh, okay. Or yeah. bake cookies. Maybe each day the elf could be like the thing that you're going to do that day. Like the elf is on the tree and he put the first ornament on the tree. And yeah. oh, today we're going to decorate exactly. the tree. Yeah. And that actually brings me, that actually brings up another point is I feel like there's other ways to do the Christmas things that bring in Jesus and like why we celebrate Christmas. Because actually I saw this online the other day and it's um, by the company Proverbs 31. So Proverbs 31 Ministries, they have cookie cutters that like tell the story of Jesus. How so? It's like they're like they have little cards and it's like maybe it's an angel or it's a shepherd mm -hmm. or um, but it's like a whole set and what you do is you do it You make the cookies with your child and it has like little cards for the parents to read on like so it goes through the story and then you're supposed to package them up and Then it comes with little tags that you put on and you give to like people a oh. little gift and it tells the story of Jesus That's really cool. I think that's really cool. that is really so you cool. can still do the decorating the Christmas cookies But you're doing it You're telling the story of yeah Jesus. So. Yeah, instead um, of like Santa Claus Christmas cookies or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so there's ways to do the fun stuff. 
I well, just don't know if it has to be Santa. I think along the lines of like Elf on the Shelf and Santa where like the whole like he's watching you, you better be good type thing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all because I think it's too difficult to separate as a kid and I remember thinking this as well like as a kid like okay well Santa Claus is watching me and I better be good but then over here on this side like Jesus knows everything I do too so I better be good because then he won't love you know me. then he won't love me exactly so I think that's a little too difficult to separate at a young age like that but to take in the knowledge that he's already forgiven you there's grace there he loves you no matter what you do but Santa doesn't so it's like, I don't know, it's really like, it's really difficult to like, so should we just not do Santa at all? Sounds or, like you're agreeing with me. Or <laughs> is there a way to do Santa and just change the type of culture that Santa has traditionally come with? What do you think? So what would that be? So like you just said, the Elf on the Shelf is here to help oh, us decorate yeah. or to help us do this. Um, or do we just not even mention that Santa Claus is watching you so you better be good? I have to talk to my family members about that because I know they use that on me like every day. Mm -hmm. Santa's watching you, Santa's watching you, Santa's watching you, you know, like broken record, broken record. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because I did a lot of bad things, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, I was a great kid. What do you think? Yeah. Did they use that on you a lot? Santa's uh, watching you? I don't think so. And that's the thing is I I feel like when I was growing up like Santa wasn't a big thing. Well, because you grew up in Florida and it's too hot for Santa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I like we did Santa like my mom always gave a gave me a present from Santa like a few presents from Santa but I never like believed it. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. It's just a thing that you do, I guess, with kids. I don't want to give up the getting up in the morning super excited to open presents that were under the tree, like that weren't there the night before, you know? Yeah. I think that's fun. really fun. And I'm excited for the day that where, like, you know, those um, snow, like, boots that you can place on the ground. And we have the best fireplace <laughs> ever for Santa. Yeah. We have, like, a massive fireplace with two double doors that open. Yeah. It's like a That's wood fun. stove. Mm -hmm. So if Santa's coming down any chimney, it should be that one. <laughs> I didn't even have a chimney when I was a kid and I still tried <laughs> to figure out how Santa got in my house, which was a little creepy, <laughs> but it was magical. You believed in the That's magic. That's another of it. thing. You tell kids that Santa's gonna come into your house in the middle of the night and put presents in. Like, what if some, like, strange man just, like, breaks into your house and the kid's like, oh, it must be Santa. <laughs> hey, Santa. Oh, I gotta go back to sleep because you won't leave me presents. And then, meanwhile, someone's robbing your house. <laughs> I think our house is way too small for <laughs> me not to know someone broke it. Yeah, like, anyway. I mean, yes, I understand that point. Like, if you had a massive house and your bedroom's, <laughs> like, upstairs and your kids are downstairs or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to go that route, then we should never, ever, ever do trunk or treat. Who in their right mind thought it was a good idea to teach kids to take candy from the back of someone's trunk? That's a whole nother story. We can talk about that later. Yeah. But I just think that it's important for a kid to have imagination and to have the fun and to come to the realization that Santa was a fun children's thing that I did. I'm all grown up now. Yeah, I'm all grown up now. I don't believe in Santa anymore, you know, kind of thing. Like, but in the same aspect, not only I'm all, I'm too grown up now, but also at the same time, like it's important for kids to be able to keep the secret from their younger siblings and stuff like that too. I think that's like a it's like a growing stage that kids should go through. Like I had to keep the secret from my cousins, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Magnolia will have to keep the secret from her other brothers and sisters. Like it's just a maturity thing. I think it's like one stage in the maturity step of getting older. Let us know what you think, guys, in the comments below. Did I make a good argument or did Kaylin make a really good argument? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, be nice. Everybody has their own ways of parenting and maybe you're not a Christian so you do you do Santa because that's what Christmas is to you. Totally fine. Um, but for us Christmas is a celebration of Jesus' birth. So yeah. Um, 
But let us know in the comments below what you guys do for Santa, for Christmas, maybe you're Jewish, you do Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate around this season, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Thanks so much for watching and follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Don't miss anything we post all the time, so you'll get to see the most beautiful baby you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> but she's napping right, right now. here. What? <laughs> talking about myself. <laughs> Magnolia is cute too, but she came from me. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And let us know if you like videos like this. Like, we have other topics we can talk about, like getting candy out of a trunk of someone's car. Okay. <laughs> or we have some marriage topics we can talk about too. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know. See you later. Bye. Adios. Boop.